I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a controller in um, in Algodoo. This is this is part six of how to make a marble race. So, um, okay, so this is how to make a controller. So, um, this is how norm most people start a marble race. So, most people use a hollowed out circle. So, first of all, I'm going to set this to um, draw circle. Okay, get rid of that. Auto glue to background. Okay, this is how most people start a, um, a marble race. And this is how they start it. They add a big circle like this, and then they use a hollowed out circle. How do you make a ho hollowed out circle? Well, you press command after you make a big circle and then click, and then you get another circle right on top of that other circle. Now you go to make um, size. Oh wait, no, that did not work. Um, command. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now what we do is we um, make it smaller. And we make it a little bit smaller. And then now we go to geometry actions, uh, subtract. And then we can delete it. And we get this. Uh, this is how most people start a marble race. This hollowed out circle. And then you can put your marbles in here, right? And then, and then maybe you can delete this or do something. Now, what what most pe most people do is they add a spinner inside. So I'm gonna have to add a center axle. And I'm also gonna have to loosen it, loosen it, loosen. There we go. And now we have a spinner that goes inside the circle, uh, the hollowed out circle. Now what we can do is we can set this to motor, motor, and put motor torque a lot, and make it maybe like that. So now you have a spinny. Thing inside a circle and that will sort the marbles. Now, how do we make the marbles escape? Well, this is where the controller comes in. If we go down here, whoops, uh, where'd we go? Okay, if we go down here and we delete some section, so let's say I just do that and then I can cut, so combine, subtract, and delete. Now we have this little hollow dot section. What we can do is cover it up with a square, right, and then we can rotate it. There we go. Now we have this. Um, gonna rotate a little bit more. Okay, so now we have this. And maybe we can delete this, but it's kind of a pain to delete that. So what we do is right click it and we go to um, controller and then we get a destroy key here. So if we click destroy key, it says press a key. I use one for convenience. And now when you press one, it disappears. So uh, undo. Okay. So now we have this. Now this can be very helpful if you just want to make a marble race, right? So if we undo, um, if we don't do auto glue, uh, let's just grab this and there. Okay. So now, uh, as you can see, our marbles here, and we can move some over here too. Um. Our marbles here are going to be sorted like this, right? So they, there are two sections, obviously, and they'll be sorted. So they'll be randomized. Now, when you want to start the marble race, you can just click one, and it'll get destroyed, and you'll get your start of the marble race, and they'll get randomized, right? Now, if you really want, you can undo that, and then we can also add a destroy key to this. So it destroys at the same time as the um, the ground, so it doesn't sort anymore. So if we do that, we can just go to controller and then press key one. So whenever, it, so it will destroy when you press one. So watch this, see? There we go. Okay, so now we have a very convenient sorter. Um, so it'll sort the marbles 
and then it will even uh, organize the marbles and it will also get destroyed when you press one like that which is awesome uh, <laughs> why do I keep saying awesome uh, because it's awesome um, yeah no yeah uh, so that's how to make um, a controller thanks for watching this is this is part six of how to how to make a marble race see you in part seven bye